Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard Drive here at ByTunesCBShop.com Let's see what we got here. 98 VHP. After the light is after the light use, it gets heated up and squeals, etc. Have to use all the AC to frost to cool it. I turn the variable power always on low, monkey made antenna. It was bought new from G.I. Joe's with the Super Tune two years ago. Bottom cover was left in the rig. I also want to purchase a Galaxy 98 V2 and have it matched to the two pill in here. I'm also interested in the coax and the antenna stud and jumper. I know them. I think we talked about a 99, which if you don't need a frequency counter, you don't need sideband. Two pill is not going to work on sideband. Not if it's biased, and I doubt if it is. We mentioned something about you were asking me about the 44 and the 55 but to be honest I would go to the 33 due to the fact that it has high medium and low well, I can tell you what the advantages are of that if I give you a call let's, let's just pop this open real quick it takes more to test this you did one hell of a packing job man country boy <laughs> Get all, oh hell yeah look at this in the big box plus this oh yeah you did awesome man people should uh, take lessons from you matter of fact I'm going to leave that wrapped up like this for now Roll two pill we'll check it out and we'll talk looks really good on the package <clears throat> pretty sure this is a 98 BHP by what it weighs Gets real hot, squeals, typical. A lot of that could be in the installation of tennis system power cords. And again, the tune also. Yep, looks real good. All the foam all the way around, you cover the knobs perfectly. Great job. Makes it nice for me too, and I can just ship them back the same way. Let's get this unwrapped. Again, you did a fantastic job packing it. Now it looks like it's got some dust in it. Whenever you see fine powder on the blades of the fan, it means it's packed on the inside full of dust. And if you smoke, it's a lot worse. Um, I was guilty of that myself. Smoking is bad. You don't want cigarette smoke near your equipment at all, ever, period. So the boots up just fine. Just like that. 500 in.
let's power all the way down. And again, you know, watch this. By the way, so you guys, I'm sure you've watched enough videos. You don't even have to even see it. You know the numbers. I'm going to do another video. We're going to make some cool stuff. But just look at the width in the graticule. And the grads and the width. You'll know where we're set. That's 30 kilohertz. We only set it where it's relevant and where it's important. where you're always going to see it and you're really going to see it about 300 megahertz total splatter box it was never really aligned but you got to have all the you got to have the bench to do it not just stuff you don't have the bench not going to happen all right so we'll go to full power Something in it, right? No switches. That's a 500. Oh, it's wide open. Yeah, it's a splatter box. That would definitely make it get hot. If you look at the amperage draw, whenever you hit negative peaks, they just suck more current generate more heat, suck more current, generate more heat, suck more current, that's all it does. It's just turned down that much, I would assume. We have to open it up and look. Power's way down on low. And if we go to the reality of it, to an antenna, this thing is way out of tune. See it? See, tuning on a 50 ohm resistive load is one thing. Right? That's what the books say. That's just the tip of the iceberg. There's way more to it than just seeing a purely resistive load. What we got here? Let's turn the power down, especially the amplifiers. There's all your squealing. receive, and again, I've stated this before, if the transmits like this, you can guarantee the receive sucks. But I have seen many, many radios from the place you said you bought it from. They're not butchers. They don't get in there and hack shit up. That, they don't do. So let's, let's take a quick peek on the inside. Well, you know what? You are asking me about the two pill and the radio. Hold on a second. Yo, TJ. What's up, man? Another day of paradise, man. How you doing? I ain't doing too bad. Uh, on the way back to the house, running a lot of corn up here in North Carolina. Gotcha. You know, I'm, I'm just popping the seal. I'm popping the cherry right now, man. I won't be able oh, yeah. to tap. Oh, you're on a video, if that's okay. You're you're in the video. So if you want me to stop the video, let me know. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, you can, uh, you can do that, that's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, you'll see it on the, on the video, what the radio's doing. Let me get rid of the seal. They don't normally butcher them, like we discussed before, but we're going to pop it open now. What I want to talk to you about is, you mentioned a 99, it said 98, and then we just talked about, earlier, about a 44 and a 55. I'm not going to test right. the, the amp on, on on the video. i got to hook more shit up, you know, to do right, that. Right. But I would recommend the 33 HP due to the fact 
that it has a three position switch for high, medium, and low. More can right. be done with switches than variable. Plus it's a little bit cheaper. You know the, right. the 33 HP. Do you need all the bells and whistles? Do you need a frequency nah, I mean, pen? I'm, I'm good with a, uh, I'm good with a 33 HP. Yeah, there you go. You know, the 44's got variable. It's gonna cost you a little bit more. The 55's cool, got the big meter and the counter, but variable. And you know, the 33's got echo. It's got the switches, and I can do something like, as long as you don't foobar, I can make it to where the radio will work, like on high, for instance, with just the radio, but you got to remember to go to low and medium for the amp, or we could discuss that when I'm doing it to see how everything lines up the best. Right. But that's right. what I would do, 33. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's what uh, the, the truck I'm driving with the boss man bought it. And, uh, the guy even left his radio in the truck, but you can have it too, and uh, it's a 3300 HP Connect. Oh, I was hoping you were going to say it was the, the original one. They got 1969 finals. That'd be badass. Be more reliable. Right. But it's okay, man. That's why I got to see it matched up, the jumpers in place, and see without having to retune the amp how the SWR's reflect is going to be with both of them put together. Right. That, right, that does right. change. I'm looking at your radio right now. I got the top and bottom off. There's going to be no problem with the radio. The radio, you're going to be able to fix it? Yeah, it's just the tune. They it looks like they turned it way down. I don't know why they turned it way down as far as they did. I don't hear the fans running yet. Yeah, the, the fans was... Uh, I don't... I, yeah, they're I, running. I they're running. They're running. Yeah. They're running. But the way it's tuned, it's going to get hot as hell. That's what it is. And it, it did. Uh, we had to run the, the AC on deep frost and crack the vent window to get the air going across it to keep it cool. Right. I'll still pull the cover off and I got to pull the board out to be able to see if there's any dirt in there. You say it's two years? It's probably going to be full of dirt. Right, do you right. do you smoke? Uh, yeah, we smoke. But uh, yeah, I imagine it to be pretty dirty on the inside. If I had to guess, we had a pretty dusty environment, and it's hell to keep the dust out of these trucks like that. Yeah, I can smell the the, the, the stuff in there. The clean, whatever, whatever you use, you know, the air freshener. Right. Now, uh, I'm not sure what's up, but it's sick. I just turned right. the power up on the inside. I'm going to have to go through a little bit deeper. It's not doing much for power. It doesn't look bad at, well, it's, I'm pushing it at, you know, at a low power, and it's doing not much. All right. Like, 75 watts. I gotta and get see, in. I gotta get into the amp for that. And see, it was um, it, it was you know, if we turned the variable power up, you know, it just got hotter. You know, we were just paranoid as hell about it getting hot. You know. Let's see if there's any telltale signs. I didn't smell nothing when I first opened it up. <clears throat> Just your air freshener. <laughs> I quit smoking here a while back and I can smell now, man, pretty good. Yep, blown transistors. Also, to get busy, please try your call again later. Uh, he just lost them. Switch 97-1. I'll call him back. But, uh... Poof. That one looks toasted. Yeah, all four are gone. That means all eight need to be replaced. Torite smoked. What's up, TJ? Yeah, I have a, I'm a patch here. 
Right, yeah, I just I just kind of lost you there for a second. Let me get you yeah. back in here so I can hear you again. You got like four blown. This thing's going to be here a little while. I got to order a toroid. Resist it's, the amp is toasted. The amp's toasted? Yep. It's repairable, but it's toasted. Oh, no. I'll snap some okay. pictures for you. What, uh, what kind of instrument can you give on a price? Everything less than 200. Less than 200? It's about 200 bucks. All new fans go through the amplifier, reset up the radio, about 200 bucks. I could also put the, this one here and use the noise blanker switch to turn the amp off. If you're running. Yeah, I, 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 I watched a video where you did that, and yeah, you, I want you to do all of that and that one. Right, because man, I'm telling you, if you're running with your buddies, you know, yeah, and you've got a good it. antenna system, everything's exactly. right, you don't need the power, man. You don't. No, 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 no. Exactly. See, with most, I doubt that variable power knob has been turned past halfway in the whole time he's had that radio. I mean, right. uh, when we run three or four of us together and, you know, we're all two or three trucks and lengths apart, you don't need all that power. No, you don't, man. I got video no. gates of myself and some of my guys talking in a wide. I've DX'd a quarter wide. With a base antenna and the right coax, it doesn't take much, you know. Why generate oh, yeah, the heat? I'm, I'm we're on the same frequency. That's what uh, that's what I told my buddy, you know. I said uh, I said you know I said shit, we're gonna ship our shit to damn hard drive, and then you know cause he, he be making sense about how everything works. He ain't just damn all about looking the meter and how much power it's got. Right. Right. That's, I'm, that's how I you mean, get your shit burned up and get your money taken. Exactly. I mean, you can talk around the world on just four or five watts of power. Yeah, but you need you either need super fan... Uh, Mother Nature better be tapping you on the shoulder or you need one hell of an antenna system. That's right. true. That's very true. Now, if you got both at the same time, yeah, man. Hello, can you hear me now? Right. Right, hell yeah. But yeah, this, this is going back together... Is the uh, two pill okay? I, I've never run it. I, I, it it's, it's, theoretically, it's brand new. Uh, the guy built it for me, and I've never hooked it up to anything at all. Who made it? Um, Who built it? I, uh, a guy named, it's not a Dave made or anything like that. It's, it's more or less a local fellow that's, that's in the hobby. Gotcha. Um, um, uh -huh. I, I, trust, I trust him, uh, you know, uh, Around the East Coast, see, it's pretty legendary on the East Coast. A uh, guy named Shoeshine, he built it. Shoeshine, yeah, you know. tell me about that. I'll check it. I'm not yeah, gonna. No. I gotta grab another radio, get everything set up to do that on video. I just, hey, if it, I just hope it works great. It'd be awesome. Right. All right. So, uh, you want me to order the 33? Um, if you don't mind, yeah, yeah, order the 33. Or, or do you want to use the one that's in the truck? Um, Brent, well, this, this is this, this is the, uh, the the boss man. He just told me to. Uh, uh, yeah, you can just order me a new one. That'd be that'd be fine. Okay, sounds like a winner. Yeah, you can just order me a new one. That'll be uh, I'll be perfectly fine with uh, you you getting me one. Okie dokie. And um. I'll, I'll check the amp first, though, before we go that far, before I order it. What was that? I'll, I'll check the amplifier first before I order it. Yeah, 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 that's what I was just saying to say. If you, if you have a radio, um, if you have a radio, you know, that you can, you know, hook it up to it and test it out and all of that, please do. Oh, I, I will. I, I don't have my bench set up right now. I, I usually do have something set up just for that purpose, but... For all the videos and stuff, and the way I got my bench set up, I gotta hook something up real quick, and it's, it's kind of a pain right. on the video, on, on video, anyways. And um, and if if the amp, you know, if, if you see that, you know, if, if you see that the amp, you know, and if you don't feel comfortable or like what it's doing, or yada yada, and you know, then we might go a different route or something like that. So you know what I mean? Gotcha. Hey, I, I hope it works good, man. I just do. <laughs> It should. My um, my my dad's cousin, he had one built when he had mine built, 
two of them are, are the same. And um, and, and he's got he has hooked up his pickup truck. And he says, you know, he, he says that it does the deal. You know, he doesn't have any complaints that good, it, it good. functions. But, uh, I know there's guys yeah. out there that are doing it. Just most of the stuff that I see anymore, it's just so much of a nightmare. It's ridiculous, right. you know. Right. It's right. really gotten bad. So that'll be a another day, another way. I do uh, got to get this back in the box, and I got some kind of an appointment at like four o'clock today, and I've been up all night doing this stuff. So I got to cut this phone call short. And we'll talk again, uh, okay, man? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Just, uh, you know, take your time. We ain't no super big rush or nothing like that. You know, we're real easy to get along with and deal with. Likewise, man, likewise. But it just takes time. <laughs> oh, exactly. This, this exactly. shit takes you know, time, man. You know, it really does. There's never enough time. All right. Well, TJ, it was great talking to you. You made out a great video, man, whether you know it or not, because you're still in the video. Yeah, I appreciate it. And you have yourself an awesome day, man, for your trailer truck and safety first, all right? Yes, sir. I got to click the stop button and be cool, man. We'll talk again soon. Bye-bye. All right, all right, Later. Y'all stay tuned in, 163. Down by the Rio Grande. We're clear. Click, click.